So tell me about yourself. I um. So tell me about yourself. Well, I. I like um. Hmm. So tell me about yourself. Can I call a friend? You submitted the resume and you waited and you waited patiently and finally you got that phone call and now you got the interview. You're sitting across the table and the hiring manager smiles and asks you the question, tell me about yourself. And you panic and you don't know what to do and you don't know what to say. You start to stutter and halfway through the conversation, you say to yourself, I blew it, why did I even say that? You never get a second chance to make a first impression. Usually that hiring manager makes up his or her mind in the first three minutes during the interview. Do you make a good impression? So today I'm going to share with you from a CEO perspective, from a hiring manager perspective, from an employer perspective, what is the best response to the question, tell me about yourself. You see, we have interviewed thousands and thousands of potential applicants and I cannot tell you how many times I see people kind of struggle with this question. But however, there are incidents that we are very impressed with the response. This is not theory. We have taken some of the best replies, some of the best responses to this question. I'm going to teach it to you. And by the end of this video, you're going to walk away with the exact formula, exactly what do you need to say and how to say it. I'm also going to give you a little script, a little template. So next time when you are asked this question, you know exactly what to say. And now let me give you a couple keys first. Key number one, when the hiring manager is asking you the question, tell me about yourself, they are not actually asking about your whole life story. They're not asking about your parents, your, your background, and, and your dog's name, and what, what, what kind of cat do you have. It is not about that. So when people hear that question, they think, oh, let me tell you my life story, and 20 minutes into it, you have not talked about anything important. So what they're actually asking is, what are you bringing to the table? So from now on, when you hear the question, tell me about yourself. I want you to make the mental switch. That equals what value could you bring to the company? What problems can you solve for the company? That's what they are asking. And you shouldn't go on and on and on about all your background and all of that. No, don't do that. Key number two, be yourself but be your best self. See, one of the mistakes people make is they believe in an interview. Well, you know, I just want to be myself. Yes, you want to be yourself, but you want to be your best self. You want to be authentic. You don't want to be fake. But it doesn't mean that you just share everything. This is the first time you're just sitting across the table from a hiring manager. It's like a date, right? You just get to know each other. This is like a coffee date. So make sure that you present your best self, right? Lead with your strong foot forward. So when they are asking you the question, everything that you share, any statement that you make, you always want to tie it back to what's in it for them. W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for them. So let me give you an example. Let's say someone is hiring and you're applying for a social media manager position, okay? And the hiring manager is asking you, well, so tell me about yourself. A typical response. Someone might say, well, you know, I, um, I, 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 I grew up with social media and um, I've used social media for a long, long time. My whole life, actually. So I'm very familiar with it. And just about three years ago, and I thought to myself, hey, you know, maybe I could actually make a living doing this. So I started playing around with it and, um, you know, take on a couple of clients here and there. And I've worked with a, with a couple of people. Uh, and then, and now, you know, I'm, I'm planning to get married. And my fiance, you know, told me that, you know, I should get a, a stable job. So here I am and uh, I'm looking for a company uh, that offers a good, you know, growth potential. 
a good growth opportunity. And also this, this place is, you know, not too far from my home, so it's good. It's only a 10 minute drive. You see the problem? Like that, it's all me, 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 me. It's all about that person, what they need and all of that stuff. Bad idea. Now, how do you feel if you are the hiring manager? When you ask that question, comment below if that's the answer that you get. So instead of rambling on about that, about my background and all this stuff, what I want, no. If you are turning into a benefit, what's in it for them? What's in it for the company? What's in it for the hiring manager? What could you say? I'm gonna give you a simple formula. Write this down, three S, three S. First, success. Now here's a script that you could use. I have been blank, or my background is blank. So let me demonstrate. Let's say it's the same position, social media manager that you're applying. So first, success. I have been. I've been doing social media for the last three years and I specialize in helping companies and entrepreneurs growing their Facebook fan page. And in the last three years alone, I've helped dozens of clients in over 10 different industries. And on average, I've been able to help my clients to really increase the engagement and grow their fan page by three to five hundred percent in less than six months. And that's what I am passionate about. In fact, I have listed some of those clients that I've worked with in the reference letter. You see how that works? You're talking about your success, but without bragging, it's more to demonstrate and showcase your skill set. What are you good at? That's step number one, success. And then step number two is strength. And here's the script. My strength is, or my real strength is, fill in the blank. My real strength is my ability to truly understand what your audience wants. I pride myself on my reputation to creating engaging and compelling content that I know your audience loves and want to share. That's the second step. My strength is blank. Third situation, meaning how does that apply to the position that you're applying? How do you apply your background, your strength into the new company, the new opportunity? Situation, what I am looking for is, what I am looking for is, fill in the blank. What I'm looking for is a company that I could add value to, that I could produce a positive return on investment for, where I could join a strong team. Is this what ABC company is looking for? You see, at the end, you ask a question. Whoever asks a question controls the conversation. So you want to ask a question, and then now the hiring manager would be like, okay, yeah, I guess that's what I'm looking for. No, that's not what we're looking for. And you go from there. Just because you are in an interview, it doesn't mean that you don't need to sell. Now, the next question you might have is, well, Dan, does that mean that I have to like memorize a script of some sort? The answer is absolutely yes. You don't want to go in unprepared. In fact, you want to write it out, practice it, rehearse it many, many times. So when you are in front of that potential hiring manager, you're ready to go. You need to memorize it and say it many, many times and repeat it many, many times so it comes across very, very natural. The last thing you want is to panic and stutter and you don't know what to say. You do not want to do that. If you find this video useful, comment below. If you want to equip yourself with practical business knowledge, if you want to learn how to communicate with conviction, so you can finally get the respect that you deserve and attain your goals. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel. Every single day, we upload a new video teaches you exactly how to do that. Or on the other hand, if you want to increase your income with or without a job, make sure you click the link below in the description so you can check out my free masterclass on communication and the art of closing.